we often measure angles with enough precision that we need to think about a fraction of a degree. So say, for instance, if we knew that this angle here was uh, 27.45 degrees. Okay. Now, this is, a, a, again, a nice precise number, and our calculators are able to cope with this just fine. We can do trigonometric ratios using this and so forth. Now, there is an older form for dealing with parts of a degree, and this goes back to the ancient Babylonians once again, who, uh, much as we divide our hour into minutes and, and, and uh, minutes into seconds, they divide the degree into 60 minutes and each minute into 60 seconds. All right. So, um, and this this persists. This this is still used today in uh, manufacturing. Okay. So um, it's important to be able to make the 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 conversion between what we call decimal degrees, like this, and degrees, minutes, seconds. So let's say we wanted to uh, express this 27.46 degrees in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Let's do this the long way once so we can appreciate the uh, value of our degrees, minutes, seconds uh, function in our calculator, all right? So what we're dealing with here is uh, 27 degrees, that translates over nicely, and then 46 one hundredths of a degree. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how many minutes that is and then how many seconds after that. So to do that, I want to find out how many minutes can be found out this way, for instance, all right? So in my calculator, if I go ahead and I multiply both sides of this by 60, I get 27.6. Well, that's interesting, 27, so 27 whole minutes and a minute after that, all right? Uh, so we can put our 27 here. Ironic that it's the same number, but it's just a coincidence. Um, now that 26, that means 6 tenths of a minute. And we want to put that in terms of, of, uh, of seconds, right? And that's, since there's 60 seconds in a minute, we have a similar, similar problem here where we want to know how many 60ths that would be. Again, solving that little equation, we get 36. All right, so 0.6 of a degree is 36. That's a tedious way of getting this done, but it is uh, what's happening, right? And you can, you can actually, uh, you could use that if, you know, say you didn't have a calculator that could do that conversion for you. Thankfully, uh, the, the, say uh, many calculators such as our uh, TI-30XA here can do this conversion for us very smoothly, but you have to make sure you put it in the proper syntax. The, the calculator can only understand things in, in a certain way. Going from this direct, going in this direction from decimal degrees to degrees minutes seconds is fairly straightforward. You simply type in 27 point six. And then you're going to hit second, and then the button, uh, the, the, the plus, uh, excuse me, the, the, the equals button. Above, above the equals button, it has this decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds mark. Okay, and that's what's going to get this, to get this job done for us nicely. <clears throat> this. And then it shows me one more zero on the end, showing that there's no decimal part of a second. Right. 
which is, and thankfully that's, that's what we got doing things the hard way. Let's um, now look at an example of going the other direction from degrees in the seconds to decimal degrees. And now for an example going from degrees milliseconds to decimal degrees. We'll start by doing it the hard way so we can appreciate the value of a uh, function that takes care of this the easy way. So since this is representing seven holes, 33 60ths, or, or minutes, right? And then 36 60th of a 60th, or 36 36 hundredths, the decimal portion of this will be simply a decimal representation of this number here. So if I do that quickly on my calculator, get this. Which comes out to be 0.56 of a uh, of a degree. Let's now use the, uh, the functionality built into our calculators and see if we get the same answer. Now here's where syntax is going to become very important. We can't just um, we don't have buttons on here to indicate uh, minutes and seconds and so forth. So we have to give it to it in a, uh, a predefined format. And in this case, we actually type in using a, what looks like a decimal format. It knows that the four digits that will follow the decimal point will be specifically the first two will be the number of minutes, the next two will be the number of seconds. And then once again, we'll use the second button and then the plus key. Above the plus key is where we have that degrees, minutes, seconds, two decimal degrees. Okay, so doing that with our number here, we get, I, I'm going to enter 7.3336. And indeed we get 